<sighs> Let me adjust the volume here if I can. Looking for settings. Master volume. Set that to 50. All right. <clears throat> well, I decided to come back into Wuthering Waves and see if I could get to a summon so I could show what that looks like. <clears throat> I didn't record it of me playing to get to this point because I didn't really, honestly, I didn't really know how long it would take. I mean, the way the game, um, I'm going to get to the summons here uh, shortly, but the game, it feels like it's dragging out your progression. Of the game experience. Like. We all know that you're going to get to a place where you're going to summon. We all know that there's all kinds of interfaces and menu options and things like that. And. It just feels like in this game, they're forcing you to go through a bunch of dialogue that you can't, you know, really skip. But you're forced to go through it. And then a lot of that dialogue isn't something that could just autoplay. It waits for your feedback for you to choose a response. So it's a whole bunch of dialogue that you can't skip that's waiting for you to respond. So if you go ahead and just get into a dialogue and click the autoplay button, it will still get to a point where it will sit there waiting for you to interact. So even if you find the story boring or if you're like, okay, well, I don't really, this is not really why I'm here. I want to get to the good stuff, whatever that may be. You want a gameplay mechanics. You want to do some fighting. Maybe you want to see some of the, explore some of the world. Well, you have to wait to go through the forced dialogue. That's waiting for your feedback. So let me just go ahead and do this summons. And I'll just do this. the chit chat tell me what you need and I'll make it for you provided your descriptions are reasonable so that's what it looks like to do a summons only cost eight I guess I'll do it one more time to see what I get Greetings, Rover. I will escort you for the time being. There was a one times convene there, but it's gone. Oh, this was it. So what is this? 20% off. It's the same thing, just why would you do that? So, yeah, I guess that's basically, I just wanted to at least do that much. It just took so long just to get to these, just to get to like the game interface and uh, like the user interface and how it's designed, laid out, structured. What do things look like to just do the normal kinds of things you do in like a RPG, action RPG game. 
you know, just mobile games that you experience on your phone, the things you know are there. And it just feels like this game is just dragging out the story so far. It's not really... It's not really, I'm not really immersed in the story at this time, even though that's what they're forcing me to spend a lot of time, you know, going through. I guess grappling through the city is a thing. But, you know, I've played uh, Batman Arkham Knight, so grappling around to do stuff is not new and exciting for me. I experienced that kind of game mechanic to use grappling and gliding to get around the world in, other, in Batman Arkham Knight, so... Seeing it here, I guess it's cool. I mean, I think it's all right. In a game with a massive world, I guess what I find the most interesting is I've played um, World of Warcraft. And in World of Warcraft, you can uh, just basically fly around on a flying mount. I think something like that is pretty much the coolest. Because you could just... I mean, you could just see the world and just fly around over everything. So, and for some reason, there's a cooldown on the grapple. I was just grappling all over the place. Just doing that. All right. But I guess that's it. I, I played for an hour earlier and I just wanted to do this here. I guess someone else was grappling around. But so far the game, one thing I will say about this game is that the graphics of everything are very, are very clean. It's like it's like laser sharp graphics. Oh, that's what that is. Just let me know I can grapple there. So I guess what I'm supposed to do is grapple then glide. When I hear that sound, that means I can grapple. Uh, I guess that's basically all I wanted to do for this video. Even now that I've made it to this point. I guess my initial impressions are still the same. So far... You know, other games of, if you're invested in any other games, I would just stick with that. So far, the story, even in and of itself, is not really compelling. It feels like your standard fanfare anime storytelling. Except, like, I don't know, like an anime that's not... based off of intense action <laughs> more like one of those 
soap opera type animes where it's more about everyday stuff and the music is all leisure like I guess I don't know What is it? It's like a it's like a ASMR ASMR RPG. Just relax and play. Well, that I guess that's it. I heard that sound. Sounds like a Spider-Man slinging his web when you hear that. That's pretty much it for this one. This is it. On another note, still the one thing that's bugging me is that in the story, when you're going through the story, the character doesn't talk. But when you're not going through the story and you get into a f combat or just like there, if you stand idle long enough, he talks and he even says things that are like he's able to recall from his previous life experience. In other words, he sounds like he's a developed he sounds like he has a developed personality and character. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me. And it's very much my companion now. Bearing witness to... See, he says things like that. Which suggests that, okay, he has a personality. He's actually, you know, existed for quite some time. He's not like some new creation. You know, so apparently he grew up or something. He's traveled. He's been traveled. He traveled. You know, he has world experience, but he doesn't talk in the story. You don't hear his voice. And so that's, it, it's, it's making me think that I'm not sure if this is a story direction, like a, a like a intentional story direction with this guy, but it gives me the impression that the people behind Wuthering Waves decided, like, they maybe they tried to push this game out too quickly. You know, like, okay, we he has a cat personality character and he'll talk and say things when you're out in the world. But in the story, when you're going through the story, he'll, he'll feel like he has amnesia and he's this some type of, to my connection with the world like, new me. being, like, it's newly created being. Now. So he's, he's either he has the amnesia or he's some type of newly created being. You don't know because that's how the story cat that's how the story portrays him. But the moment you get out of the story and get into the point where you could just control the character and interact with things like normal, like you like, like you would expect when you're controlling the character, he sounds like a full fledged developed like a uh, uh, playable character, a person, or I guess character. He sounds like fully like fully developed character. He has a backstory. He's ex world travel. He's been around. He's done things. So he's he's seen things. And he says things and and, and, and and makes little quips or whatever like like normal. So that's the part that kind of like bugging me. <sighs> but anyway, I guess that's it. Stopping to relax once in a while serves for a stronger resonance with the world. Huh. He almost sounds like Anakin Skywalker from the prequel trilogy, from the prequel Star Wars trilogy.
This is a testament to my connection with the world around me. And it's very much my companion now. Bearing witness to 